So tell the people who you are. What, what's, what's your name? You know, t- 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 tell, tell the people. Uh, my name is Spencer X, and I'm a beatboxer. You're listening to Peter Tim. <laughs> just a lot of anger that was very impressive <laughs> well we hope everybody's doing well out there you know the number one thing we're always about what are we about guys spreading the positive vibes love. always love you know it's, it's a crazy climate out there it feels in the in the mass media old oversaturation market that maybe we need to be spreading some more hugs more yeah. free hugs positivity it's positive key. vibes everyone needs a little bit more of it in their lives Okay, let, let's 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 do a question. And this is like right before we we started this episode. I wanted to ask you this just because I, I was interested. But so, how did you uh, how did you start the the journey on on YouTube? You know, like what what got you to to this space right here? Um, yeah. Uh, the the reason why we're together right now is because right we're in the third dimension, the YouTube space in New York. How do we how do we arrive in the third dimension at the YouTube space in New York? How do we, we do got, it? We got enough subscribers. You know, we were playing. <laughs> we were playing at the Highline Ballroom uh, around the corner, and I guess we didn't even know this place existed. And Alex was like, "Had we had seen that it it had just opened up 2014 or 2015, we saw it just open up, and then we read what the requirements was. At the time, it was like you need 5,000 subscribers, and we were like, hadn't even thought about like, well, what do we have? Like, what number do we have? So yeah. we looked it up, and we had like 4,265 yeah. or something. We were like, oh. Yo, we're only like 800 away, like, let's do this. So we pushed and pushed and pushed so we could get in here. And then Ben, our camera uh, camera visionary. Shout out to Ben. Like, he, we, brought, we came in and we all started doing videos. Bang Bang was the first one. Then we created this show, Heavy Metal Breakfast, because this set is here, right? We're not actually on a, on, in a diner, unless you want us to be. And then, of course, we are actually in a Where diner. Where is Brooklyn. my milkshake? We ordered a milkshake a long time ago. Uh, but, I'd like um, some oats and berries, uh, you know, almond butter, all mm, that jazz. Oh, how delightful. A lot of that. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Uh, That's how we got into space. How did you get into space? You know what's really funny? Uh, so I learned about the space also when it was 5,000 subscribers. Now it's 10. Now it's 10. Zoom into my face. Now it's 10. Um, <laughs> uh, and I also had like 4,000, like 500 subscribers at the time that I learned about it. And then as soon as I was like at like four thousand, like seven or eight hundred, so he jumped into ten. To 10. Wow. And I was literally like, "Okay, thanks, guys." That's fine. Like, what is so close? <laughs> um, but here's the thing: uh, at that time, I was also part of this band. Uh, we were called Backtrack Vocals. I mean, I was with them for maybe like two years at the time, and we signed up for the uh, the Creators Camp, the the Next Up competition, and we ended up winning that. Um, so I think at the time we had like maybe like thirty or forty thousand subscribers. Oh, so you were good from the get on that. Yeah, but I wanted to use you wanted your space solo, for your own vibes. And and that that was kind of more or less like my my vision like within what I'm doing right now is that because I'm a beatboxer, the opportunity that I have here is tremendous. Uh, you know, and I, and I really and like shout outs to YouTube for taking care of me and for believing in me and, and giving me all the opportunity to do all the things that I want um, and to be as creative and open as possible. Uh, can you can you the... creatively, openly create a, the- a heavy metal breakfast beatbox theme song right now? <laughs> heavy metal breakfast beatbox theme song. Heavy metal breakfast so tell the people who you are. What's, what's your name? You know, t- t- tell, tell the people. Uh, my name is Spencer X, and I'm a beatboxer. Everything beatbox. I just uh, I make vocal music, all coming from here. Literally hustling my face off, um, and yeah, showing showing the world what we're able to do with the instrument that we were born with, that we were made with. I think it's such a beautiful thing that we're able to be so many things and just. The possibilities are endless, truly. So how do you how do you guys feel? I'm gonna introduce you and come to you in one second. How do you guys feel about the imagination? Are we utilizing our imagination Ooh. enough in this day and age of the digital age? Wow, you know what? That's a really interesting question. Um, I think the more the more that people start educating themselves about the world around them, the more that positivity 
is a strong force and people do stuff for love. It's such a strong force and it's such a, a strong thing to say that you're doing something for love. Like that's the ultimate, ultimate goal, I think, that that humanity, I, and I, I really think that like everybody in the world wants that, you know? Like they wish they could, they could do everything that they love, that they want to do, that, and they wish they can give to other people. But a lot of people have fear. Mm. A lot of people have insecurities. Sure. Um, and they project that onto other people. Right, they, right, right. Limitations. They don't, exactly. Because their mind isn't able to reach that destination, so they don't want it for someone else, too. You know? They think that they can only do so much, so they want the next person. They want their friends. They it's want like their family. It's like misery loves company type of, type of vibe. Exactly. We just need more hugs. Um, and it's sad to see, but but we need more people like us, like around the world, that want to spread that, that fight for that. Uh, and I feel like this, like the time, like right now, like people are really becoming like woke. People are really opening up, and they're like, ah, man, milk was terrible for me. Like you know, those commercials were bullshit. You know, like sorry. that's a, that's, a good, <laughs> you know? that's a good question too. Um, what, like what? What does Ooh. it mean to be woke? In this mm. era, I feel it's the woke era where everybody's really getting woke to like what yeah. it even means to be woke. Like maybe people didn't even know what the fuck that being woke even was. Like what what consciousness is? Do you even mm. see that the fucking shit is going down? You know what I mean? Like yeah, but I then think to, I, to, to define to define woke yeah. right to try to put it in a box is, that is that the one? opposite of woke. Okay. Right. <laughs> so how can you can't we can't define it mm. because. Then, 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 then we're inside the box. Then we, yeah. we wouldn't be. Woke then we're putting the label. I, I, yeah, I think things shouldn't have labels. I think that <laughs> that particular question, when you talk about being woke, uh, I like to think of it as you know, sure, a realization or like being awake or being open, being free. Uh, freedom is the really, really biggest thing I think that someone can have, and freedom I believe comes from happiness. Mm -hmm. You know. And then happiness and freedom also come from confidence. confidence. Too. You, you have to believe. You got to believe gotta in yourself. You got to believe in the people around you, and you got to love them. You got to truly like be selfless. You know, um, and there's two ends to the string. And this is what I like to think about a lot too: is the contradiction between everything. You know, like being super, super confident about what you're doing and knowing that you're like the shit and like you're you're the best you've ever been right now you're the best you've ever been right now you're the best you've ever been True you've best. worked all your life to be at this moment right here and like nobody can tell you anything about that because you've you've been in the process you're you're at YouTube right now. Who could tell you shit right now? No one can tell you anything. My mom would tell me a lot of shit. And, and I, would, I would just eat it. I would have to eat so, all that shit. Well, that's the thing. Like, my mom... She would tell me, I'd just be like, you're nice, right. So I don't know. You're right. Um, but, but that's, no, and that's the thing saying, that people yeah, say, like, like, pulling on that end of the string, and then also knowing you have so much more to do. You gotta like, keep working. You man. really... Keep building and working. In the world, you aren't really shit. Like, right. you know? Like, you have nothing to say. You could lose all of what you have right now tomorrow. Like, you know, like a meteor could blow up New York City. Like, I'm not saying like this is gonna happen, but like it truly, <laughs> we have to be grateful. Truly, truly grateful for what we have. Yeah, truth and because embrace the day. Take the most out of every day. Exactly. Give the most. Take the most. Make the most. All that. Two ends right. of the string. Two ends of the string. Give the most. Take the most. Be the most. Like you know. Can we write no, that? That's a, that's a song right there. <laughs> give the most. Take the most. Give hey. the most. Give the most. Give the most. Take the most. Give the most. Give the most. The most, take the most. This is just keep it down. Last time we really hit it very hard. So, and um, so I want to want to introduce you. Um, tell tell the people who you are. Hi, I'm I'm Cat. Speak up, speak up to the people. Hello, I'm Cat. People, yeah, hello, you can people. Lean out a little bit more, and if you can be in, uh, you can lean in a little bit more just so they can see. Yeah, you, but I, I got my armpit in here. Yeah. Tell the people who you are, Cat. <laughs> you don't gotta be in all half far. Right? Tell the people. <laughs> hi, hi, people. Hello, people. Hello, everyone out there. What is your name? My name is Katherine Bruner. What do you do? Uh, what are you? I'm a person. She's here. Okay. I'm a person. <laughs> You're a person. You're from are, Brooklyn. Are you? That's true. Well, I'm also from <clears throat> Brooklyn, so we're holding it down right now. I don't know about you, Spencer. I know you're from the city. Manhattan. I know you're from the city. So we're gonna just we're just going to connect on the Brooklyn tip right now. You know, we always reference for Brooklyn. <laughs> what is the most metal thing about Brooklyn? I mean, the buildings are made of metal. Right. That's what I was going to say. A lot say. of concrete in, in Brooklyn, man. What's the most metal thing? Subway tunnel. 
Mm. People who live in the subway Ooh, tunnel. Ooh, the mole people. What kind? That's the mole that people thing. Yo, so uh, it's mole like, people. They got. They, like I, I read a book and they got mayors. They got mayors of the mole people and they have runners. They have people that they send above ground to society. You know, because they're living outside society. You think this doesn't exist? Google it. Google that shit. Mole people. Under Go ahead. <laughs> That's what it is, man. I don't even, you know what? On a P, on a, P, on a what is it, PG, PC, uh, PC. I don't think they like to be called mo people. So I'm sorry for calling you mo people. That's just how I know you because I read a book and I think the book was even called mo people. But whatever you guys want to become underground dwellers of the city, keep rocking out. Keep subterranean residents. Yeah, subterranean residents in New York. We love you. So that's that's the most metal thing is the subterranean residents. It's just like a life in darkness. Mm. Yeah. Why do you think so many rad Vagabond. things? Huh? Why do you think so many rad things have come from Brooklyn? Like, you know, Biggie's from Brooklyn. Uh, mm. You know, Jackie Robinson, the first um, black ba- baseball player. You know, Michael Jordan is from Brooklyn. You know, Spike Lee. Like, Brooklyn is just known as like an ill place throughout the world. The Beastie Boys. I think it's just that super clash, uh, the, well, not clash, just the right, the whole melting, the New York melting pot thing is that you come to New York and then Manhattan is so hard and then you have to go to Brooklyn. <laughs> so it's people who are, who had like a dream and then had to scrape to get everything and it creates this right it creates tenacity in a place where people come to do big things Mm -hmm. and yeah yeah, them not giving up on their dreams them going through thousands of things in a day right and you talk about being like open there's so many types of people over there and it's like right from everywhere but the struggle is the same you know, so you can build a community of people who think the way you could not possibly imagine. You know, it's like you think about, and I mean, I've never, I've never been anywhere except for here, so I can't say. You know, you think about like a small town where everybody knows each other and like they just they do, they do the same things and they only got so many blocks. Right, so you many, you yeah. can only learn from so many people. There's there's only there's, so many there's stores, teeming so many millions here. Oh yeah, Brooklyn is very large. It's true. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest borough. Oh my god! Community in New York is is beautiful. Just because like we're and we think about it like we're all the same, you know, like we all connect in the same ways. And just to see like your fellow neighbor wanting to do something similar to you. Oh, I have a terrible. Spread in love is the Brooklyn way. That's what <laughs> they say. Inspire, inspire. They say it. Spread that like peanut butter or almond butter is the new Ooh, for the new era. Butter. Almond oh, butter. it's so delicious. I got one more question. Last so question. Good. Last question. What is the next butter that is about to come out that Ooh. we don't know? I, I got sunflower butter. What? Ooh. I was going to say, what doesn't sunflower. exist yet? Wait, I'm not is, up to, is I macadamia know. butter? Ooh, like, is that real? Because I'll I'll get that like right that's now. That's a thick white butter. Ooh. <laughs> that's a thick white butter. <laughs> Macadamia All butter. the good fats. All the good Ooh. fats. That's omega threes in there. Shout That's out to those nice. good fats. Cashew <laughs> butter is really rad. Cashew butter always been rad. And it's actually good that it hasn't oversaturated the market like <laughs> almond butter. Like like soy. I guess we don't need soy butter. I guess there is soy butter. It's more like a butter substitute. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff out there. Keep making cool stuff if you're out there, man. Send us some butters. <laughs> butter sponsorship for heavy, heavy metal breakfast tip brand deal is just like covered in butter yeah, just cut the next your, oh new, your new and intriguing it's like butters. so we have 20,000 boxes of almond butter now what do we do yeah, some, heavy metal breakfast never <laughs> never go back to the store again Are you wow. kidding me I would Cases love I would butter? love a brand deal with that's almond a super butter. forever food it'd be amazing if you didn't have to go to the store anymore, <laughs> you you it would pervert pervert wow. your brain because you would have no, you know, certain famous people, right? They can't go to the store or like they choose not to go to the store. It's like, what would you do if you couldn't go to the store anymore? Mm. Your only connection to actual what our prices in the real world is wow. online, and you'd only be able to look through the glass. Okay, wow. that's a good point. Unless also- unless. You're Keanu Reeves, and you're just like, fuck everything. I'm still going to live my life. I saw Keanu Reeves one time. We were partying uh, somewhere in the LES. Uh, no, it wasn't LES. It was the West Side. Uh, West Side. And I went to this 
uh, deli, and I went to I went to open the door to this deli, classic deli, it's still there, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, West yeah. Houston Street or whatever it is. And Keanu Reeves was there. I opened the door. It's amazing. And Keanu Reeves walked out. Did he walk out slowly, like? <sighs> he, you know, he just walked out, and I just opened the door, and I didn't say nothing to him, you know, because I, I don't even want to be that person to be like bothering. It's like, do your thing, Keanu Reeves. Mm. Just rock and roll, bro. You made Point Break, The Matrix, Bill and Ted's. True. I mean, killers. Killers. We love you, Keanu Reeves. Keep making movies, bro. And we hope that you're happy and that you're living a positive life. Love you. Spreading love every day. Shinobi Ninja, Heavy Metal Breakfast, Spencer, Cat. We out here spreading love. Keep on rocking in the free world. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Dope. You're listening to Peter Tim. <laughs>